You either are or you aren't. You're either with it or you ain't with it. You're either doing it or you're not doing it. And your fucking life tells the story. There ain't no fucking unfair bullshit happening here. There's no fucking, you're not a fucking victim. You're a victim of yourself. You're a victim of your own fucking bitch ass voice that tells you not to do the shit that you know you're supposed to do. Man, I love working out. It helps me physically, emotionally, mentally, honestly, in every aspect of my life. And my overall health is always going to be important. And on top of that, it helps me become the absolute best version of myself. Once I get jacked, all these bitches are going to regret not wanting to date me. Who's alive? Can they just take that? Why is it still coming? That's torn. It's long. Why is it still coming? Shine it up. Hey, you're right, man. That is tough. I get the basic, every yeah, pin the cook, get me part of them and get this sit on my wrist. Yeah. Chris Evans is an ass man. Yeah. You had a choice! Why did you choose me? Even if it meant forsaking your aunt. Yes, and she'd be here now! Even if it meant hurting her. If it had to be done! Even if it meant killing her. Whatever it takes! Started with my mom. Met my dad. They fell in love. They had me. I get those goosebumps every time you come around. Yeah. Yo, you can't do 10 pull-ups yet? So good. Do this workout to increase your pull-up reps. Start by doing your max amount of pull-ups, no matter what that is. One, five, doesn't matter. Do it until failure, and once you can't do any more, go into negative. So jump to the top of the movement, go down as slow as you can, and again, repeat that until failure. And once you can't do any more of that, go halfway to the movement right here and hold it. Again, until failure. Repeat that for three sets and do it four times a week. You gotta try this chest workout if you're trying to build a bigger and more defined chest. First up, as always, we're going to start with a heavy compound movement, the incline bench press. We're going to keep our working sets heavier and the rep range lower. Four sets of these at six to eight reps. Next up, we're going to hit a heavy decline bench press. As always, slow and controlled on the eccentric, explode on the concentric. We're doing four sets at eight reps. Next up, we're going to hit a high to low fly. As you fly down, really focus on bringing your pinkies together. And remember to keep your elbows bent at the top of the movement. We're doing three sets at 12 to 15 reps. Next up, we're going to hit a low to high dumbbell fly. For these, we're going to fly across our chest, again, thinking about taking the weight of the dumbbell with your pinky. Three sets at 12 to 15 reps. We're going to finish up with a dumbbell fly. Get a good stretch on your pecs at the bottom of these. And remember to keep that bend in your elbow. Three sets at as many reps as possible. 
Here are my absolute favorite back exercises currently that'll help you build some quality meat back there and aesthetic wings for lats. First, we have my favorite exercise combination of all time. So an incline dumbbell rear row with 45 degrees of abduction, biasing the posterior deltoids while still providing an excellent stimulus to the traps and rhomboids. Then do an incline dumbbell shrug immediately after to finish off the traps to failure and pump out a little bit of additional work. If you have never done this, do it and you'll thank me later. Next, we have our standard T-bar row machine. This machine is excellent for training the back due to the chest support it offers. I like to get a large stretch at the bottom and bring my chest ever so slightly off the pad, both improving the stimulus to fatigue ratio for me. Moving into our vertical poles, we have a teres pull down. This will bias the teres and low trap muster. Just be sure to lean back and position the elbows within the scapular plane. And the neutral grip variant, I've really been liking the easy bar and 2D handles for this. Here we'll get a little bit more lat due to the more adducted or tucked position. And lastly, for the lats, my two favorites that just seem to absolutely slam them and provide robust disruption is the seated high row machine done unilaterally with a D handle and the torso slightly rotated to allow more horizontal adduction and thus lengthening of the lat. And a low row machine done standing and also unilaterally with a D handle. Both I'd recommend trying if you have access to these machines. Be sure to like and follow for more. Done love her, so why don't you tell me the truth? 